Hi, Gary Franchi here from RTR.org. 2011 is finally upon us, and we have a lot of work ahead of us. I want to make this video to welcome the thousands of our new members and inspire those who've been with us for so long. First, let's talk about RTR. I want to make it clear that Restore the Republic is not about me or RTR as a singular group or organization. RTR is a movement of people who freely assemble to organize independently and act on freedom-related issues. RTR is the vehicle for you to reach the people with your ideas, your plans, your energy. It's not a place to attack each other and divide our efforts. RTR must be viewed as your personal online networking and action tool created just for you. Now the biggest complaint I've ever heard over the years is that we are all so divided as a movement. While this may be true because the greater freedom movement is made up of many groups like Campaign for Liberty, Oath Keepers, the Mises Institute, the Tea Party, the Free State Project, Committees of Safety, Gun Owners of America, Young Americans for Liberty, Alex Jones, Info Warriors, We Are Change groups. You see, they're all on a mission. But what is that mission? The bottom line is to make America a freer place. So, how does RTR fit with all these groups? Restore the Republic is the only place that is inclusive of all organizations and individuals who have ideals and plans to restore freedom and liberty in America. Point blank, RTR is the central hub to meet people from all these organizations and efforts to cross-pollinate the tree of liberty with the ideas and actions for freedom so it doesn't need to be watered with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Since the founding of RTR alongside Aaron Russo in 2007, we have worked to organize some of the first ever and largest demonstrations against those who threaten the American way of life while standing on the cutting edge of communications and technology delivery to keep our members informed and armed with the proper tools to be effective activists. Even before Obama was in office, we were actively working to restore freedoms taken from Americans after 9-11 by working against the Patriot Act, the Real ID, and the Federal Reserve. So where are we now and where are we going? In 2010, we produced over 295 videos and reality reports and reached over 1.7 million views. Our YouTube channel alone reached over 3.8 million views. We also launched the next wave of total interactive video broadcasting with our late night formatted show, The Late Stream. During the broadcast, we opened up the live webcast to Skype video callers from around the country who reported their November 5th actions and contributed to the national dialogue on freedom-related issues. I personally represented RTR and spoke at numerous high-profile events such as the Health Freedom Conference, the Axiom Conference, the Boston Tea Party, and the Freedom Summit. Likewise, I've appeared on radio shows from coast to coast promoting our efforts. Our 2010 sponsor, Patriot Program, delivered Republic magazines to thousands of activists in need with a projected reach of over 5 million people with the message of freedom and liberty. With the Free and Equal Elections Foundation, we broadcast three independent debates that the mainstream media neglected to broadcast, providing perspectives from across the political spectrum, giving voices to the otherwise unheard. In February, the controversial and eye-opening film I produced, Camp FEMA, American Lockdown, was broadcast on KBDI PBS Denver to a potential audience of 3 million viewers, right alongside Aaron Russo's America Freedom to Fascism. Because of that, I was targeted by the liberal extremist group who now works alongside the Department of Homeland Security, the Southern Poverty Law Center. Then. Camp FEMA was featured on CNN and was blamed for creating a resurgence of new patriots in America. But that didn't slow us down, it only fired us up because we released our next film, Don't Tread on Me. We organized a screening of Don't Tread on Me, Rise of the Republic at nearly 300 simultaneous locations nationwide, waking up tens of thousands of people to the proper role of government, the true meaning of the Second and Tenth Amendment, and the power of the county sheriff. Subsequently, Don't Tread on Me was featured at the first Mountain Madness Film Festival, laying the foundation for future films of the freedom-minded caliber to be presented to the public. In April, a song that we co-wrote and produced called Take Our Freedom Back was reviewed by Ted Nugent and featured as the number one Tea Party song in America in Spin Magazine. We distributed hundreds of ounces of silver through the Freedom Mint and commemorated two new patriots in silver. 
Now here's the big one. We updated RestoreTheRepublic.net to a new social networking platform and moved to a new three-letter domain at rtr.org. This upgrade alone has increased membership by nearly 3,000 since we initiated it. And now our online membership is about to exceed 27,000 members. The new website has provided critical infrastructure to hundreds of groups who use the organizing tools to plan end the Fed rallies, strikes, conference calls, outreach campaigns, discussion groups, and more. We launched PageHurtResponse.com, the fax blast website designed to bypass the email box, snail mail sorting centers, and answering machines of Congress. Since its launch in November, Users has delivered thousands of faxes to Congress in opposition to the food safety bill, the TSA, the 1% Obama banking tax, and more. Your direct support of our efforts, be it financial or by spreading the word of our work, has played a direct role in us reaching millions of new people with the message of freedom and liberty. So what's in store for 2011? Well, here's some of our goals. In 2011, we plan to double our online membership and continue to be the number one social network for freedom-minded activists, providing the interactive infrastructure to help groups organize. We will continue to be the number one website that is inclusive of all freedom organizations and assist those organizations on how to promote their efforts and actions on RTR. We plan to initiate phase two of PatriotResponse.com to allow for state-level fax blast campaigns. Once initiated, we plan to collect model legislation from key groups and leaders from around the country, then create fax-based initiatives, making you the digital lobbyist to push back on illegal and unconstitutional federal laws. We plan to initiate phase three of PatriotResponse.com to put pressure on the corporations who are working alongside Congress to sell America down the river by creating fax blast campaigns against them. With Patriot Response, we will fight for and support bills that call for an audit of the Federal Reserve, accountability for the TSA, limited government, and freer markets. We plan to initiate Operation Social Invasion. Now the plan is to create an army of viral media activists who can, when activated, use the social networking power of RTR.org to flood the social networks with alerts, updates, news, information, and actions that will educate and activate Americans nationwide to what is not being reported by the corporate-controlled media. We plan to continue producing the Reality Report as an independent source for action-oriented news and hire more staff to assist us in producing more videos and providing more on-the-scene coverage of breaking news that the mainstream media just won't touch. We plan to continue producing the Late Stream to put you in the spotlight to join us on the front line. We plan to continue producing documentary films and organizing screenings to wake up Americans nationwide. RTR, our social network, our newscast, our websites, and our efforts are entirely driven by your support. We cannot reach these goals without you. That being said, RTR has critical needs that require funding to maintain. Our new website alone has placed a serious financial burden upon our shoulders just to cover the monthly server fees. Studio office space and staffing is very costly to maintain. Even the basics of telecommunications, electricity, gas, internet, cable, and maintenance are massive bills to cover every month. So I appeal to you to help us reach these and more not yet realized goals this year. If you feel our cause is just and our efforts are effective and you benefit from our infrastructure, help us start off 2011 with the funds required to keep us moving forward. Right now, I need you to donate so that we can meet our first quarter fundraising goal of $25,500. This will give us a strong foundation to move into 2011 and keep us on the front lines fighting for freedom every single day. Please visit rtr.org slash page slash donate to make your donation right now. On behalf of the entire team here at RTR, I want to wish you a happy and freedom-filled new year. Together, we will restore the republic.